They were adventurous people. They were known for their purple dye, for being skillful seafarers and excellent merchants. Their traders spread various inventions across the Mediterranean, the most important of which was their written language. They were called the Phoenicians. One of their harbors was here, Byblos, today the northern coastal Lebanese town. It is one of the oldest continually inhabited sites in the world. Now, a Lebanese scientist is working hard to trace the Phoenicians' footsteps in Lebanon from Byblos, and genetic testing is his only guide. One in 17 men across the Mediterranean carry Phoenician signature, which I think was marvelous to find. I mean, not only they, they still exist in the um, in the heartland where they originated, but also where they went and colonized. This research is part of the Genographic Project sponsored by the National Geographic. It is a global study tracing migration out of Africa some 50,000 years ago. Many Lebanese see themselves as descendants of the Phoenicians, but the new study reveals that only 27% of the population carries the Phoenician gene. The rest are a genetic cocktail. For thousands of years, Lebanon has been a passageway for different civilizations, such as the Romans, Greeks, Arabs, Europeans, and many more. Today, hundreds of Lebanese are flocking into this lab to give their DNA, because they are curious about their lineage. The DNA test is free, and many Lebanese are keen to take part of the research. I'm interested to see if I'm a Phoenician uh, branch. Everybody should know his roots, you know. and. Uh, my parents or, uh, you know, my grandpa uh, said, well, we are from uh, Europe. And uh, well, I must know my, my, my roots, you know. Around 10,000 samples have been collected from across the Mediterranean. The challenges of the genographic project are to map people's genetics and hopefully discover more about the different paths and adventures of vanished civilizations. Neila Khouri Al-Jazeera. Biblos, Lebanon.